Hey there viewers and welcome back. Today I want to take a look at installing a new, er, <laughs> it's new to me, uh, graphics card in my Lenovo M720S. So what we have here is this uh, GeForce GT 1030. It's a slim or a low profile ultra, low profile I guess. Um, because when you are dealing with small form factor chassis uh, computers, the struggle is really truly real. So this is apparently, um, it's, it's a less than a hundred dollar card which is perfect for my budget. I mean, realistically, I use it for AutoCAD and video editing and, you know, a couple little things like that. Uh, so it's a good budget card. It's available and it appears to be one of the only ones that will fit this M720, you know, small form factor style chassis. So the, the ones that come with, uh, after, you know, the, the AMD systems and the Intel systems, yeah, their numbers are a little bit different, but um, basically this type of a chassis. So if you do a little bit of research, uh, it seems like the card to fit. So let's go ahead and open the box and wing this thing into the computer, see what happens. Make no mistake, folks, I will caveman this box open. Okay, well, this is definitely minimal packaging. So, it appears you have a uh, graphics card and a bracket, very important, and a CD, and that's unboxing done. Alright, so I'm gonna try to avoid touching the card, but my one curiosity point on it uh, is which type of DVI it has on the back. So I want to pull this goofy little... Aha! So on the package it shows that it doesn't have this little notch missing and uh, it's a little bit escaping me at this point what, what that signifies. But uh, my idea was I could always run it off of HDMI as well. So um, I think my cable that I have is good because I run DisplayPort currently but that's not an option with this card. So. Sweet, uh, looks like, that's nice, little fan, cool, okay, uh, not a lot to, uh, not a lot to really look at here, folks, um, yeah, it's, it's definitely not a gaming type of card, but hey, should work well for what I want, let's wing it in the system. So opening the system, we're just going to take these two little thumb screws out, I have another video on this as well, I'll link to it uh, in a card at the end. But a pretty simple little system that just goes away. And then we need to lift up on these three little red tabs. And then I uh, gotta get my fingers under this here. Got to remove the little plastic front so you can kind of see that there's some hinges, not really hinges, but little legs there as far as that's concerned. So at this point, should be able to push this little red tab here down. Apparently got to push it down kind of far. And then uh, that will hinge out. And that gives you some access to depress the little tab that's on your motherboard. You can't miss it. I realize you probably can't see it all that well. We'll also fold out uh, this guy here so that we can remove our graphics card. So the removal of the graphics card is going to be pretty straightforward. I'm just going to make sure I touch the chassis. Uh, imagine that I have a anti-static strap on. I'm going to push the little black finger down and then uh, I'm just going to kind of give her the old hook on this side which dislodges the card and I can grab the card by the edge and then we'll push that little guy down one more time and just lift her out by the cooler. Alright, so for those of you curious, just taking a casual tour around these two cards, um, I've lined up them pretty much flush in the back and uh, here you can kind of see that we are minutely longer. I don't think we're gonna have to trim anything uh, just based on what I read, but uh, gives you an idea really how tight these cards fit. So this card here is the uh, GT730 uh, NVIDIA. I'm not exactly totally sure who made it. It was a uh, upgrade for not a lot of money 
that you could get from Lenovo. So uh, we're going to replace that uh, 730 with this 1030, which is obviously manufactured by Gigabyte. So let's go ahead and uh, change out the uh, card, the profile, I call it the profile, the bracket, blah, sorry, uh, that goes here in the back with the low profile edition. All right, so this obviously goes uh, without saying here, you are following along with me at your own peril, but uh, I think I got the wrong size screwdriver here. Ooh, I did. Uh, I'll go ahead and remove these. I just use a pair of pliers on them, needle nose. They're usually not in super tight. So we'll do the exact same with the other one. I think this is a zero Phillips. Either way, probably can't see anything that I'm doing here. Uh, my apologies on that, but uh, probably shouldn't be doing this if you can't figure out how this bracket swaps. So they're pretty easy. Just go ahead and install this guy. I'm gonna put everything together kind of loose and floppy first. Again, sorry, my hand is totally in the way. And then once I get everybody installed, everybody being the screws, then I uh, should be able to go ahead and just kind of tighten everything down. Just snug. That way these things don't unscrew with your cable. If you even use them. I do. It's kind of like the parking brake on your car. There we go. Okay, so sorry about the light earlier a little bit. Um, I'm going to go ahead and touch a grounded surface. I'm just touching the uh, shield here of my uh, display port cable and then I'm also going to touch all three of these at the same time. So we're going to go ahead and uh, carefully lower. I'm actually not, nor have I, oops, <laughs> move the rubber there folks. Uh, I have not touched the card itself. So uh, you probably should be wearing your static devices. But we'll just gently rock that guy in. You can see right there that clips and is secured really, really nice. So now for, oh, also in a previous video, somebody asked about the M2 port for SSD. Yes, this machine has one. Um, hopefully that eliminates the confusion there. So we're going to move this massive wire over hopefully here to the side. Oh, it touches. But it actually feels without a nice satisfying snap, unfortunately. But everything is good. Might move some more stuff. You got kind of a pocket of empty space up here where the where the hard drive is chilling, so you kind of want to make some use of that without pinching too much stuff around. Might unplug that for the time being. There's that guy. This getting a little bit pinched between the power supply, but uh, that's okay. We'll just refinagle that. Maybe put a little bit of a bend in it. And uh, CD drive back in. This is a lower profile. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but there's plenty of room for this wire. This uh, graphics actually does touch the um, drive bay holder, but uh, I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. So let's go ahead and uh, drop the front on. That's easy. Except the cover. Kind of the moment of truth on that. And the uh, cover fits great. Sweet. Okay, so next we'll fire this bad boy up. See what happens. Cross your fingers. I do have BitLocker enabled, so I'm kind of curious if I'm going to have to put a recovery key in or something. Obviously not. Okay, so you put in the top secret password. 
Well, there you got it, folks. We went from, just kind of for a benchmark here, I don't do like benchmarking software or anything like that, went from about 14 frames per second in, I believe it's the 2015 rendition of Doom, to uh, 40, and that's running at 1920 by 1080, of course. So, a uh, pretty good upgrade, I think. Uh, I can't wait to see what it does when you're, you know, doing high-speed video or anything like that, where uh, it does get a little bit GPU intensive. Uh, one thing, though, just Tech Tip Tuesday on some other day besides a Tuesday for you. Uh, keep your old video card. Um, I have just in the days when I used to build PCs before I uh, bought them pre-made. Um, Video cards seem to be a very fragile component of a system, so I'm not going to sell the old one, I'm not going to throw it away, I'm actually just going to put it right back in the box, so if one day this guy doesn't boot, I don't have to use integrated graphics. So, hey, I'll have some gut shots at the end of this video. I know my previous video where we put, um, put some RAM, I think, in it. A RAM and an SSD, uh, an EVO 860 SSD is what we put into this machine. I had a couple questions over what the motherboard on this machine looked like. So stay tuned for those gut shots. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.